This is an All Sports Station production. Hey everybody, it's the coach. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the New England Patriots and the Miami Dolphins. With that, let's get down to Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Standing by for the call. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, Coach. From beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. The excitement brewing here in South Florida as a moment ago, the Dolphins starters were introduced to this home crowd. They're fired up as well as they get set to match up with the New England Patriots. Brandon Garden, Charles Davis, happy to be with you. And Charles, we've got two teams who know each other extremely well. These division games, they tend to be battles. People scout like crazy in this league, but no one scouts more than within the division. Because if you win your division, you're automatically in the playoffs. That puts extra emphasis on these games, and they can't wait to get at each other. Is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one taken from the seven. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30 yard line. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. And they'll be let out by the guy under center, Charles, their quarterback. And what I enjoyed in preparing for this game was talking not just with the coaching staff but with him as well. And I found it interesting that the coaching staff sees him one way and he sees himself in an entirely different way. Yeah, one thing he said he's always working on, he's, we know he's not bad at this, but his footwork always wants to improve that and that's something he's gonna focus on here. And what was so funny, what the offensive coordinator say right off the top, he's got great footwork, love his footwork. So this guy is never satisfied. Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breda. There to stop him, Jawan Bentley. Time to feature the offensive starters and our first chance to get a look at Parker. Devontae Parker came out of Louisville with a guy who was known as a mature receiver. Runs routes really well, but the best part of his game, he'll jump over you at the end of a route and go get the football. Second and eight. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Yeah, and that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. He'll drop to throw. And the pressure gets to him again. Lawrence Guy, he's the one to get him this time, and back-to-back -back sacks brings up fourth down. On fourth down, Matt Hawk is on to punt. Back deep for New England, Julian Edelman. 
And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. So out come the Patriots here to get their first shot on offense. They're led out by their big-bodied electric quarterback, Cam Newton. Cam has all the skills that you're looking for, the arm that can do everything, the ability to run, hard to bring down because of his size. But the joy that he plays the game, I think that's his stock and trade. That's his calling card. That's what sets him apart from other players. Newton to throw, and that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. And now we take a peek at the Patriot offense. I love the versatility of Marcus Cannon. He can play guard, he can play tackle. I think his footwork has really improved during his time in the NFL. He has one of the better backstories that you're going to get. This is a guy who was diagnosed with cancer, has beaten that, and now is one of the better players in the NFL. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. This is Sony Michelle. He grew up a few miles north of here. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Out of the gun, Newton. And that'll be incomplete. Now they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty, and it's fourth down. They decided to take a shot and right down the middle of the field, and really, they didn't give it as much time to develop, did they? They want to take that shot somewhere around the 15-yard mark. And the defense able to recover, bat it free. The Patriots send out their punter. Jakeem Grant back deep for Miami. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15, and it'll be Dolphin football. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. On play action, they'll throw. Got a man open, that's Devontae Parker complete. A gain there of 21 yards. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. On first down, here's Breida. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. 
second and 14. And that is incomplete. And quickly, let's check out the New England defense. Dante Hightower is a prototypical run-stuffing inside linebacker who has the ability to go to the edge and rush the passer. And there's no better example than when he had the strip sack against Matt Ryan in Super Bowl 51. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. I know ultimately that feels like a good defensive play, but I know it's really not. They had a chance to keep points off the board. Now they have a chance to kick a field goal by missing that shot. Yeah, especially at this spot in the field. He's got to be upset he couldn't come up with that INT. So on fourth down, Dolphin kicker Jason Sanders comes on. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. The kick by Sanders is good. And the Dolphins will jump out to a 3-0 lead. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a Let's touchback, go. and it Let's comes go. out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. You can't block me. You can't block me. To throw is Newton. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. 18 big yards on that one, and a New England first down. complete it's Julian Edelman just a yard on the catch there it'll be second and nine and finding Edelman underneath that's a recipe for success typical route for a good slot receiver and Edelman's one of the best in the game knows how to go inside what one of my college coaches used to call the briar patch got to go in there where it's tough and make those tough catches and not only can he do it he can often run away from people after the catch now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. Newton throwing again. And that will 
be incomplete. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Breida. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. A Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Once again, they run with Breed on first down. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Second down, a run with Breida. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. He lost two there, and it's third down. throw it's complete to Graham and he'll be taken down but not before he works it past the 50 a Miami first down on the 14 yard pickup So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They go counter with Breida. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. play fake he'll look to throw and that'll be incomplete good protection that time and they couldn't hook up on the long one now it's third down oh boy partner did that just happen i've got my hand over my eyes right now because like like him it's gonna haunt my dreams too he was wide open how did he overthrow him there uh, defensively just very lucky you know that they got away with one there back to throw here that's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 33.
So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And let's get this, get this. They'll set up to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. fake they'll look to throw looking for the end zone and nearly picked it off he had a chance to come down with that in the end zone but it'll wind up just being incomplete a missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off a drive he had a chance there to finish things off didn't get it done i guess that's why a lot of those guys do not play offense so after the incompletion second and 10 from the 22 second and 10 He's going to go up top for the end zone. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. In this situation, it's really tough to figure out how to defend because they have plenty of room to still take deep shots at the end zone as they just did there. Yet at the same time, you've got to be ready for the short throw. In this case, when you see the cue that they're going for the end zone, retreat and make sure you have a way to play forward back towards the receiver and have a chance to bat the ball away as they did there. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He connected on his first. This time it's 39 yards away. Sanders' kick is good. And that'll make it 6 0 here in the first. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points either an extra point, or in this case, a field goal. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. They'll run it here. This is James White. Yeah, he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Here's Newton. He's got the hook up to Lee. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. Here 
that's it. What he? Five, 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 five. Let's go one more. Now a first down carry, it's Michelle. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. 3-4 defense and that old line really dominated the D-line on that play. And think of it this way, with a 3-4, you have a natural bubble over each guard because those guys don't have defenders over them. Oftentimes, if you want to run up the middle, they can get upfield and get on the linebackers right now, and that gives the running back a heck of a chance to get into the secondary. First down, here's White. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Let's go, let's go. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. So first and 10 now from the 30. You, 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 you. This is Michelle on the counter. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Second down, Michelle. Run, run, run. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. Right there. Right down baby. Six nothing, our score after one. New England on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and four. A shotgun snap for Newton. And he'll have his man. That's Edelman. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. The former seventh-round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback and not just a productive one, a very good one. At Kent State, right? Yes, a great leader, a guy who could make plays with his feet and his arm. Got to the NFL and had to convert into being a receiver and was drafted that way. And that conversion, oh boy, it's been good. The Patriots into the red zone for the first time. They have a first and 10 at the 18. Looking for Edelman and he hits him. It's complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 11 yards for number 11. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. He's got some space. Hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. Look at him. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. And, Brandon, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Here's Newton. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Like the footwork back there, I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, winds up getting buried for the loss. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? From the gun, here's Newton. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Yeah. 
Looked like they had a window to get that in there, but a good job rallying defensively. Excellent timing. No pass interference. The hit jars it loose, and now they force them into a decision. Do you go for it on fourth down or kick the field goal? The Patriots will bring on the field goal unit. And his kick here is good. And they are on the board, trailing now 6-3. to three. So if you like field goals, you've come to the right spot. We've had three so far. Well, this is a football game, right? It is. How you like that one, huh? You like where I went with that? How about that one? I like it. Okay, but hey, let's face it. In this game right now, both defenses have responded well. They're trying to hold the line on this. You just wonder if anyone can break through with a touchdown and put some pressure on their opposition. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Matt Breed in the offense heading back out. It's the second quarter. His team has the lead, but... I think he's hoping for a little bit more production out of himself. And we often talk about preaching patience to a runner when things are a little bumpy in the early going, but we have to do the same thing with the offensive line. They can't wait to halftime to make the adjustments. They have to do it from series to series for those surface tablets come into play. Check out what the defense is doing and see if they can find a better way to run it. So they search for that patience here now. John Simon in on the stop. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Second and nine now from the 21. Second and nine now. He's got a man complete. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. So with the pass being completed, they'll go ahead and take that instead. Nothing extra to be gained. Pass interference at the spot, completed the pass. That was your play. So it might as well have not even had the penalty. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They always say that real estate is about location. Well, guess what? When it's a slant route, the quick ones, timing, timing, timing. Got to be able to lead your man with the football. And the timing off right there, threw it behind him. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. <laughs> Running out of the gun here, Brita. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. The Dolphins on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and eight. Looking to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. It's John Simon with a sack. Here's Matt Hawk now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down.
So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. 36, 36. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. A first down there on a pickup of 25. We often, with Cam Newton, talk a lot about his legs. Don't forget about that arm. He can throw it on a rope. He can loft it. He's got the touch that's been developed throughout his career. But the big part about just watching him throw it, it seems almost effortless. This Here offense go. finding its legs now. Here Here's another Here first and ten. Here we go. On the ground, Michelle. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Michelle. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four yard pickup leaves him with third and one. New England on third down. Two for five to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. Everyone understood their role on that play. Third and one. You know the defensive guys, they're trying to get down and get low and get leverage on the offensive lineman, but they didn't allow that to happen. They created a crease and allowed him to get through for a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Switch, switch. They will run with White out of the shotgun. And an alley to run. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. Michelle, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Tough sequence there for the offensive line. Well, it gives us a chance to shine a little spotlight on the defensive linemen, on the defensive tackles. They don't normally get a bunch of praise, but it all starts there, doesn't it? If you're going to have a good run defense, they have to hold the point of attack and make plays as they just did there. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Now Michelle. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. That's how you get right up off of the mat because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. Ready? What is it? They'll try the air now with Newton. And it's caught. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. And they will run it with Michelle. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. The 
They come out here in the eye. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. They'll try to run it in. Michelle, and he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Taking it in from two yards out, and the Patriots have taken the lead. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead, as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. Now the try here for the extra point. Oh, this is blocked. It's picked up a live ball here, remember. But he doesn't get far. They're able to stop him. And after all that, the extra point attempt unsuccessful. I know it's easy to kind of shrug off a blocked extra point, but this game is shaping up to be a tight one. The second half, this could prove crucial. Yeah, we might look back on this one. We'll have to wait and see. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. And this defense, they came prepared. He's probably going to be seeing them in his sleep if they don't fix things quickly. And that's not exactly what he wants to see in his post-game slumber. So they've got to figure out a way to slow things down a little bit. Some screen passes, some draws, anything to make the defensive front hesitate a little bit. Think on their way back to the quarterback, maybe even a quarterback draw, some type of tendency breaker to change things up. Exactly. Whatever the case, something to mix it up here. 18 big yards on that one and a Miami first. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They're going to look to throw. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Dolphins have a first down. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll look to throw. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six foot six inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. Quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really do. And it, it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He had told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. This quarterback now nine of 16 through the air as he's got it first and 10. This is Breda on the draw. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. 
We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. Second and 10. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. John Simon picks up his second sack of the afternoon. A third field goal of the first half, not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. From the right hash, this from 48. I don't think this will even, nope, it doesn't even get there. Well short, and this score will stay right where it is. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Newton now hitting on two-thirds of his passes, 10 for 15 so far, first and 10. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. First down, Newton completes it to Lee. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. First and 10, Newton, caught by Sanu. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Oh, 
second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. To the air again, Newton. To the left side and complete for Julian Edelman. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. On first and ten, Newton. Oh, able to avoid him. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And he'll get it here to the ten-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams as they've already made their way back out of the locker room. So to bring you the story of the second half, let's get you right back out to Brandon Godden. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. This one taken from the seven. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. From the 35 on second down, Newton. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. Let's go, 18 big yards on that one and a New England first down. down it's Newton over the middle Julian Edelman it's complete and he'll get it down here to the 43 that throw good for four it's second down four yards on that last completion so that sets up second and six Newton now to throw and that'll be incomplete Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. Ready. And the line to gain ready. here is the 37 on third down. 
Throwing again is Newton. To the left side and complete for Julian Edelman. I know it's an emotional game, Charles. You can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you argue your case with your coaches, that's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. Following the penalty, Michelle. And shutting him off, now open field. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Throwing on second and three. Newton, quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Four yards the pickup, first down. On first down, Newton. And a quick throw here, that's complete. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Let's just make this one simple. Could he be any more open than he was on that play? Yeah, they lost him going to the outside. Hard to believe because you go through your accounting on each and every defensive snap. Who's got who, what, what defense you're in. That was totally a blown coverage. They'll turn to Michelle as they go back to the ground. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Newton now to throw. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. From 10 yards out, and the Patriots, they add on to their lead. A good, sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch. Extra point attempt here still to come. And he atones for his miss the first time around as this one is up and good to extend their lead. That time, a nine-play drive, and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Come on now, let's go! Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. He's playing pretty well. I don't think it's necessarily him changing up something he's doing, but that old line, they've got to protect him better. They do. They've got to make sure that they give him more than enough time in order to find targets downfield. And sometimes what happens when these things are going on is that the, the field general will step up and say, hey, that's on me, guys. I didn't get rid of it fast enough. Anything to try and relax them a little bit and take some pressure off because they do know that they are trying. Yeah, well, we've seen the four sacks so far in this contest. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's second and seven now from the 28. A little eager there coming in from his outside linebacker position. You think the hard count got him there? Yes. Maybe that extra hut, you know, <laughs> that, that extra emphasis on it. 
got him to jump, and they picked up five yards. Second and two now. The penalty leaves him in pretty good shape. They'll look to throw here. And he finds Howard complete. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Oh, and the hard count might have got him. This might be a first down. So a jump there defensively. That's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. Good work that time to get him to jump, and now here's first and ten. They're going to look to throw. Gets this to his running back, Jordan Howard. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that'll make this a second down. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. On the delay, it's Howard. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays. Three first downs? That's a pretty good recipe for success. A good run by Jordan Howard, and now another first and ten. They'll set up a throw. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Howard. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Continues to be a struggle for this offense and this home crowd. They're growing a little restless here in the second half. And I think they've just got to look at how they're trying to move the football. Yeah, you want to run it, but maybe you spread it out, maybe some swing passes that can take the place of runs and give you a little more space. Third and long, they'll look to throw. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Let's go, D. Big series. Back to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Devontae Parker, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. What a job by this defense all game long. They've come together and really said, no one's crossing our goal line, and they're definitely not going to start right now. You can just see the dejection. Feel like nothing is working offensively. This is Howard on second down. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves them needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. Yeah. 
They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. They're going to look to throw. And, oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Got to love the catch. I think you got to love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great, and they're fun. They're becoming a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are, and I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing, but I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll look to throw here. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Get him, boys. Yeah, that's how we do it. Well, that was point-counterpoint, wasn't it? They decide to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Second and 15. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. He's down inside the 10 to the 8, and it comes on a gain of 8. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Looking to throw. And this is caught by Parker for a Miami touchdown. Eight yards on the touchdown pass as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and the lead is down to a field goal. So that one a 13-play drive in total, and it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. This will be fielded at the eight. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. On, Let's go! So the Patriots coming out now. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. They begin with Michelle on the ground. 
Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. From the 31, Newton. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Newton now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards, so make it second and five. Give him five yards there, and it'll bring up second down. Five, so a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. Now it's Newton. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. scrimmage and it will be fourth down in most battles between offensive tackle and defensive end the defensive end usually has the advantage and when you hold the football that long in the pocket you're really making it hard on your offensive tackle aren't you yeah because you're a theo tackle you're just not as athletic as that and he's coming at you with a full head of steam the patriots send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away and he uncorks a beauty best of the day and a bit of a mistake there this is well into the end zone for a touchback here he is the man taking the snaps under center heading out for the next possession how do you break down his game so far just the one touchdown pass but sometimes the touchdown pass stat category that doesn't tell the whole story it really doesn't not until you balance it with the error side, you know, and in this case, he hasn't thrown any interceptions. So a lot of people would call this almost a pedestrian. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Boom. Dietrich Wise in there to record another sack. And that is now six on the afternoon for this defensive unit. Following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. They'll look to throw. He's going to wind up and air it out. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They're going to look to throw. Pressure gets to him, and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part, 
gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, and this time they take their man down. Here's Matt Hawk now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he's able to get it out quickly, and this is not a bad kick here. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Patriots take over. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. On second down, they'll run with White. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave them with a third down and six to go. Able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak, not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They go with Howard again. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. The Dolphins on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This is third and eight. On third down, a run from Breida. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? 
Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is, he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Edelman set to return. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Julian Edelman and the rest of the offense back onto the field now. And the stats on his game, they really tell the story. A strong start. I don't know that the defense has really changed a whole lot as opposed to maybe just sticking to that game plan and shutting him down now. I like where you're going with that because normally we talk about adjustments and drastic changes in a game plan in order to shut someone down. But in this case, maybe they're just sticking with what they worked out all week and they're just making better plays. And so far, they've got to like what they've been doing in the second half. Opting to run again here with White. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. New England on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This time it's third and three. From the gun, here's Newton. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. And out come the Dolphins now. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. They run with Howard, and they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. it to the tight end Smythe and able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. I like how they worked the tight end on a nice little under route there and if you're going to give him that much space he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit and that's exactly what he just did there picking up extra yardage. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. They'll look to throw, and this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Set, 
From the 21, it's second and 10. They'll set up a throw. Pass incomplete. He was looking for Parker that time, and now it's third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Crunch time, defense. Now back to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Grant. A very solid gain of 27. So how do you beat man coverage? First of all, you want to be a superior receiver, but you know something, that guy who's covering you, he's usually pretty good too. So the corner route is usually a great spot to get it done. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Looking to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Burita. Call it a gain of five, and it'll make it second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Second and five. And he finds Parker here, complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 19. zone now. They'll look to throw. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Here's Breda. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. Second and goal from inside the five. You got nothing. Second and four. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, you got a young quarterback. You know, maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that because when the game starts to move fast and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best, their arm. He's, he's slinging it on this one. Had a wide open target, but didn't have the proper footwork to increase his accuracy. I'm sure as a coach, when you throw the flag, you hold your breath, then you get the verification you were right, a sigh of relief. Not only a sigh of relief, a little vindication as well, because every time you pull that red flag and throw it, you could be costing your team a timeout.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a Let's touchback, go. and it Let's comes go. out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them a lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. On the crossing route, that's caught. Julian Edelman. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. They've moved the ball over 50 yards between this play and the last one. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with his four-point fourth-quarter lead. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. On second down, they'll run with White, and he'll take this one down near the 15. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. From the gun, here's Newton. And that is incomplete. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. They snap it to Newton. Oh, the ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. I tell you what, credit is due there on them preventing the touchdown after that interception. How about him chasing him down and not giving up the pick six? Because what happens a lot of the time is when you see the interception, you just kind of hang your head a little bit, and you momentarily pause because you're frustrated. He shook that off and gave great chase and got it done. Still a great return and very good field position. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Go! 
Second and six. Quick hitter here. It's complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. That's going to be a long day. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. He'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This will be from 56 yards out. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. Now this was still going to be a one-score game either way, but still, that's a potentially harmful miss here in the fourth. It certainly is, because if you consider that now if they give up a touchdown, they give up the lead. So he might be getting the side eye by the defenders coming out on the field now as he goes back to the bench after that miss. So Cam Newton and his offense down by four, a minute 50 to play. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. That's complete to his running back, Burkhead. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Clock running here under 90 seconds to go. He's back to throw. And this one brought in by Sanu. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. Well, they got exactly what they wanted there. Out route, catch, get out of bounds, stop the clock. And I have to criticize defense here because you know the situation. You want to keep them in bounds and have the clock run. So I'm sitting on the outside portion of the field and not letting them throw an out route. Throw anything inside and I'll make the tackle. An out route, that, that's not the way you're supposed to play it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. He'll look to throw. His throw incomplete. Edelman was the intended target, and it's third down. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Back to throw. And nearly intercepted there. That would have been ball game if he had clinched it and caught it. Instead, it gives him one more chance here on fourth down. Nearly an interception. If that one's picked off, it's over. So a new lease on life, so to speak. A lot of times when you're in coverage, you're so focused on the man and the coverage that sometimes the ball, if it arrives, it surprises you. That may have happened to him in that situation. Down four late, got to go for it here on fourth down. They'll run for it, this is White. And the surge is going to be too much defensively. He's hit and taken down to the backfield. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Dolphins' defense is able to hold.
Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. So from the 36 now, first and 10. That one looks like he'll throw here. It's caught by Roberts. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Victory very likely now for the Dolphins as they take a knee here. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Victory very likely now for the Dolphins as they take a knee here. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through, and they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Dolphins are winners here as we say so long from South Florida.